Is there anything you'd like to respond to what you've heard today? Yeah, I'd like to respond to Acting Chairman Jay Paul and your comment about the Trump administration moving money around for more detention beds. I'd like to remind you under the Obama administration, we did that most of the years he was president. We moved money around DHS, it's called reprogramming. We did that under the Obama administration. I, didn't, I don't remember any hearings on that. And also I'd like to remind you that, that under the Obama administration, I mean, you're quick to point out that the cages were built under Obama administration. I was there. Family detention, we had 100 family beds under Obama administration. We built 3,000 more. So when there was a surge in FY14 and FY15 on border, Congress was quick to give all the money we needed to build detention facilities, get transportation contracts. We reprogrammed money out of the majority of the years he was president. That was fine. Under Obama administration, FY12, we removed 409,000 people, half of what was removed last year. There was no hearings on that. So, I, I, you know, if this is about transparency. Let's be, let's be factual about it. The time of the gentleman has expired. Since you did address some comments at me, I'll just say that I didn't like it under the Obama administration either. In fact, Well, be I honest with the American people. You, you can't point out faults in the Trump administration when it happened Mr. under Obama Holman. administration. That's dishonesty. It's pathetic and it's sad. Mr. Holman, I control the time and I am the chairwoman of the committee. Thank you for respecting that. Um, I didn't like it under the Obama administration. And I'll remind you, Mr. Holman, that you also testified before Congress in support of the Obama's priorities enforcement program before the Senate Judiciary Committee on May 19, 2016, which had a very different approach. Well, can, that, I respond, can I respond that, to that? that? Can I respond I re to that? No. Of course not. not. With I want to give you some time, but I, I do want to ask one uh, a quick question, and I, and I want to make one quick statement. I, I find it very offensive that anybody would compare uh, any federal employee, frankly, to uh, someone who, uh, the Gestapo or uh, running Nazi concentration camps, that is very offensive. I have 15 seconds and I yield to you. Thank you for saying that. I wish somebody in Democrat leadership would say that out loud. Look, you want to know why there's 50,000 people in detention? You want to know why we have a million, million, one million illegal entries in the United States? You want to know why we have these issues? Because you have failed to secure the border. You have failed to work with this president to close the three loopholes we've asked for two years to close. I'm so if you want to know why this issue expired. exists, you need to look in the mirror. You, need, the you have failed American expired. people who are not Holman. securing the border and closing loopholes. Mr. Holman, look, please respect the chair and the authority you know, of the chair. The have, time of the gentleman has expired. I've asked the you politely to let me go beyond my, my time, and you let other people go beyond their time, but not, not to Tom Holman. He don't get me go have, beyond his time. Mr. Holman, we have this, this approved is a, this is, this is an circus. agreement this is between the Republicans and the Democrats with the ranking member. We increased the time of one witness, uh, one uh, member of Congress who was... In I'm a taxpayer. You work for me. The witness will suspend.